The final season of Game of Thrones is just around the corner, and if you haven't yet finished re-watching the entire series, here's a recap of the latest and seventh season of the Game of Thrones series. The season starts with Daenerys arriving in Westeros, more specifically the Targaryen seat of Dragonstone. In King's Landing, Cersei and Jaime prepare for war, the pair is also visited by Euron Greyjoy who wishes for Cersei's hand in marriage and ventures off to obtain a gift for her, the gift being the leader of the Sand Snake who killed Cersei's daughter. He also destroyed the Greyjoy fleet, let Theon run away and captured Yara and one of the Sand Snakes. Arya Stark, after hearing that Sansa is at Winterfell, turns home. In Winterfell, Jon and Sansa also prepare for war, but disagree with each other's ideas on how to win. In the Citadel, Sam treats Jorah who arrived at the command of Daenerys to find a cure for his grayscale. He leaves the Citadel with Gilly. Elsewhere, Jon goes to meet with Daenerys in hopes of forming an alliance and to mine Dragonstone for Dragon Glass, which can be used to kill White Walkers. Daenerys also sends the Unsullied to attack the Lannister home kingdom, but a majority of the army is away, attacking High Garden. Jaime gives Marjorie's grandmother poisoned wine which will not make her suffer, and after she drinks it she confesses to having planned and killing Jaime's son Joffrey. Meanwhile, Bran returns to Winterfell and reunites with Sansa. Arya returns soon after and is given a Valerian steel dagger by Bran. At Dragonstone, Jon and Daenerys form a close bond, and the two examine inscriptions in the cave on the first men fighting White Walkers. Theon returns to Dragonstone and is shamely reunited with Jon. Daenerys leaves on Drogon with the Dothraki army and decimates the Lannister army, returning to a healed Jorah Mormont. Meanwhile, Jaime returns to King's Landing and is told by Cersei that she is expecting a fourth child. Tyrion and Ser Davos sail to King's Landing to meet with Jaime in hopes to convince him to join forces against the White Walkers. Jon then leaves Gendry, Davos and Jorah to go to the north and team up with the Hound, Tormund and the Brotherhood without banners, Beric Dordarion and Thoros to capture a White Walker and present it to Cersei off proof of the coming threat. Their plight beyond the wall goes away shortly after catching a White Walker. Gendry is sent to get help and Daenerys arrives to save the party with the three dragons. However, the Night King kills Viserion, the smallest of the dragons. Jon, Daenerys, Tyrion and co head to meet with Cersei with the live walker. At the meeting, Euron fakes being scared and lies of returning to his island as a cover for getting an army. Cersei is not convinced, but after a short talk with Tyrion, she agrees. Sadly, this is all a lie and although she threatens Jaime's life, he leaves for the north. In Winterfell, Littlefinger's scheming comes to an abrupt end as Sansa and Arya are both working in organizing his demise and death. Sansa passes the sentence and Arya executes him. Sam returns to Winterfell and confirms with Bran that Jon is in fact a Targaryen whose name is Aegon. Meanwhile, Jon and Daenerys confess their love for one another and spend the night together, leaving Tyrion with a look of worry. Finally, the season concludes with the Night King riding a resurrected Viserion to the wall and destroying it, ending season 7 with the White Walker army invading past the wall. Thank you.